Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. Today is February 1st, 2020, and we have a monthly channel update. I, of course, say monthly, and I, in fact, mean I get like two of these done a year, uh, but we're going to try to change that. This has been an absolute, like, bananas month for Art Wolf's Lair, the YouTube channel. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I'm going to talk a little bit about what's coming ahead. I'm going to talk about a little bit about the... Uh, the channel's history and i'm going to talk a little bit about some personal stuff so if you are not prepared to hear any of that please tune out check out the next video and i thank you for your patronage but if you would like to hear those things here we go so art wolf slayer started as a blog actually and it started so long ago as a blog in 2007 that i don't actually remember the name of the site that the blog was on um, the Art Wolf Slayer in sort of successor blog that I moved over to WordPress after that thing went away um, is still there. I still occasionally write a blog post, um, and there's a link to the blog in the in the in the video description. But uh, it really, it hasn't been an active thing. It was very active at one point. I was at one point putting blog posts up every day and it, but it was primarily an MMORPG blog and I kind of hit the crest of the wave on MMORPG bloggers when it kind of hit its peak around the time of Warhammer Online uh, and I was kind of a big wheel at the time um, in retrospect you know it turned into nothing because the whole thing kind of fell apart and it evaporated along with the MMORPG genre really um, so at some point later, however, I became uh, more interested in war games again, and I had already had a YouTube channel at that point. And if you actually look at the really old videos in the YouTube channel history, um, you'll see that they're all video game videos. I haven't taken those down. Um, I thought about it, but I don't see... There's, there's not a lot of motivation. I don't want to lose that content necessarily. So if you look at the really ancient stuff, you'll see video game stuff. Um, there is now a dedicated video game channel called Ardwolf Digital. There's a link to that in the comment in the description below as well. Um, for those who want to check that out, there's not a lot of uh, content there. Uh, not not been my focus at all. My focus uh, in terms of being content creator to the extent that I am has been on this YouTube channel. And since this sort of thing that happened last year that I haven't talked about at all online, which I, I guess I will mention, uh, I separated from my wife. Um, that's why I moved. Um, so, so that happened. And once that settled down, it's like, well, hell, I'm here by myself. There's a cat, me and a cat and a lot of war games. Um, I've kind of been able to focus extra time to the extra time that I have, um, on videos, which is why you have reliably seen at least two and sometimes as many as four videos a week from me for quite well, several weeks now. Um, so I, I do not see that changing, but I might as well mention that there's another piece of personal upheaval that occurred today. Um, I am filming this on January 28th, and today it was announced that our entire department at work is being outsourced. So it's kind of a long wind down time. So it's not like I'm like on the street right now, but it, you know, that's going to have a financial impact potentially. Um, and I'm not going to pretend that it isn't. Um, at the same time, I have elected to A, um, go play OCS tonight, even though this happened today and I got upset. Um, and B, I'm still going to Winterfest in a couple of weeks. That's the thing in Sandusky, Ohio. We are playing GTS Market Garden, The Devil's Cauldron, and Where Eagles Dare put together. I have never played that until a few weeks ago, so we've been playing a warm-up game, but that's on hold this week and maybe next week too. Um, but we're doing that, and some other guys who are uh, prepping for Winterfest are doing OCS there, so we're playing in that game too, because why not? It's OCS, it's Columbus, Ohio, that's what we do. Um, so I'm going to try to make this as minimally disruptive as possible. And I think that's possible given that I have the most valuable thing that my employer could have given me, given that this is happening anyway, which is time to deal with it. Um, there are additional plans regarding additional events, namely Origins and uh, WBC and Buckeye Game Fest. Those are months away. Those plans might change, although I will definitely be at Origins. If you look out the, uh, out the window here, um, I can walk out this door, walk down the street, take a left, and walk for about 20 minutes and to be at Origins. So I'm not going to not go. Um, but it might, you know, change the com complexion of the things I do at Origins. So we'll see what, what, ha what that turns into. 
Um, WBC, I will almost certainly show up at WBC, even if the money gets in the way. Uh, but if so, that'll be like a like a one day or one night, one day and a night type of deal. Like that's the, like a worst case scenario. And then Buckeye Game Fest, which again is around the corner. Um, so I'll be going there for that as well. Um, you know, I might have to put things on hold as far as buying, you know, stuff like this. This is my current clipping project. I don't even have all of it. This is ASL. So this is just what I happen to have right now to punch and clip. So a um, bunch of plans coming for the channel. So let's talk about that. Um, I will be asked, um, and that's completely fair to ask, uh, what's happening with episode four of Paths of Glory instructional video. That will come when it's ready. Um, it's been kind of pushed back and back and back and back. And of course, if you like do part of it and don't finish, and then six months later, you get back to it and you're kind of scratching your head as I, I don't know what I was doing here. I don't know what these pieces are that I had and how they fit together again. So I kind of have to start it over. Um, I don't have to re-script it because I can do that, but I probably have to refilm it. And I'm kind of restructuring that whole uh, video type because it's so labor intensive to do. Um, it's not obvious to the viewer necessarily, but that 10 minute video can take 20, 30, 40 hours to produce. Um, that typically wasn't the case with the Paz of Glory videos, although they were pretty time consuming. But that like seven minute traveler video I did took me like 40 hours. Um, it was crazy. Now it's very highly produced. So, so what you are going to see from me um, is, uh, we hope, uh, a number of videos a week, something like three to five videos a week, maybe even more if there's like a news item or something like that that I want to comment on. I have to get up a video about it right away. But um, a lot of that video content will be off the cuff stuff of just me and talking to you here through the, the magical camera. Um, I want to do some more instructional stuff too. And I want to, I, I regarded that from the beginning as a series that I would do. Um, and I just lost track of it. And, and getting back on track with that has been difficult, but I do plan to do it. Uh, if nothing else, because I want it to be done. So A, people stop asking me about it, but thank you for your, for your interest. Um, and so I can move on to instructional stuff on a different game, which I would, there's a whole list of things I would like to cover. Um, so uh, there's the two giveaways as well. Uh, as of two day yesterday, uh, there is a video on the update of the announcement of the giveaway winners, which will be appearing this coming week. Um, so stay tuned for those things as well. Um, one of the things, though, that the, the employment uncertainty has kind of brought into the picture, which wasn't there, um, is not, not that I won't do content. I have... I got enough games to do content on. I got the webcam. I got the microphone. I'm all set. But um, what it's probably going to mean is that I feel less able to do stuff like buy this. Um, so, but, you know, people like to see content on new products too. And I'm not going to say that I don't as well. Um, so in an effort to kind of help with that, I am going to be launching a Patreon um, you will see a, a video with that announcement in the next week or two. Um, the content will be free. I am not going to monetize the YouTube channel. You will never have, if I have anything to say about it, you will never have to put up with ads um, in front of, or worse yet, in the middle of these videos um, so that I can earn dozens of cents a month from YouTube revenue. That's not going to work if I get one, one dollar patron a month that will, like, quadruple any income I could be making from YouTube as a tabletop wargaming channel. Um, so am I going to be able to make that a full-time job? That'd be great, but that's pretty unrealistic. So let's not aim for that. But if I can buy a couple of extra games a year that I might not otherwise feel capable of covering, um, then, uh, then I think that would be a bonus. And there are incentives that I can... Um, offer to patrons that aren't exclusive content. All the con all the video content will go up here on YouTube. That that will just happen. Um, there might be some minor writing and questionnaires and stuff like that. I haven't settled on a, a, perform uh, a format yet on that. Stay tuned for the video. We will discuss it in the video and in the Patreon when it launches. Um, so 
that's news. That's that's kind of a big step for for the YouTube channel. Um, I don't have anything resembling what you would call company sponsorship, and I'm unaware, to be honest, that anyone in wargaming is even doing that. Um, so I'm not, you know, really reaching out to people for that. Um, I have gotten a couple of free things, at least one of which was by mistake. Um, but I've gotten some free digital stuff from Columbia Games too, which is much appreciated um, from them. And I'm going to continue to be doing stuff for Harn, be not because they're giving me free stuff, although that's nice, uh, but because I love Harn and it's fantastic. So you are going to almost certainly see at least one tabletop RPG video from me a week. Uh, that's the plan, is to have three or four Wargaming videos and one, maybe two, depending on if something's going on, uh, RPG videos a week. And for the moment, at least, those videos will be Harn and Traveler. Um, that's the current plan. There's Traveler stuff coming down the pipeline, too, that I want to give coverage to. Um, and I've actually had some requests to cover specific Traveler things, so I'll be doing that as well. So, um, that's a whole lot of news that you didn't know, and maybe you didn't want to know, because you don't want to be involved in my drama, and I have endeavored this entire time to keep all of my social media channels as drama free as possible can you do that absolutely it's hard honestly the internet being what it is uh, but i've tried and i think i've mostly been successful at that and certainly with this youtube channel so this has been a little more candid than i am normally accustomed to so a whole bunch of personal stuff going on uh you know it, but it is what it is it's life life changes this was something that was going to happen and probably it's going to prod me into doing um, some things that I should have considered doing a long time ago. Um, but I would like to say that uh, I really appreciate the support that uh, that the, the viewers of, of the channel have given me. Um, I'm not getting any many names because in so doing, I will leave people out and then feel like a jerk. Um, so I'm not going to do that. But I will mention that it is enormously appreciated. And I do notice for people that like the videos and uh, comment on the videos and have discussions in the comments, which I know is a sort, sort of a double-edged sword with YouTube, um, and who share the videos around. Uh, I've noticed that more lately, actually, is people sharing the videos on their own, where I was like, I didn't put this here, who put this here? That's, well, thank you, that's great. Um, so that's, that is enormously helpful. And that's something that if you don't feel comfortable with like a Patreon type of scenario where you're given a buck or two or whatever it is a month, um, that is something you can do to help support the Ardwolf Slayer channel is to help spread the word. Like the videos, interact with the videos, comment on the videos, and subscribe to the channel and share the videos around. Um, so I want to say that's all I have to say. Um, I'm going to try. Uh, hopefully I will have more new stuff to say on March 1st. Um, hopefully I'll have wonderful news by March 1st too. That would be fantastic. Um, so... In the meantime, I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank everybody for continuing to support the channel. I will be here. I am kind of cooking on this channel like I've never cooked before. And uh, it's it's really been great. It's really been uh, refreshing. I've been able to focus on it. And I, I feel really good about where we're at here. Uh, and I feel really good about the people that we have uh, in this community. Uh, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned. There will be more content on the way. And there'll be another regularly scheduled update hopefully on March 1st.